Okay. Let's get to the unboxing. Bam. Oh, yeah. Bam. Make sure you get to the sides, too, here. Noticing that this thing is pretty hefty. I mean, this is like ugh, 19 pounds, it says right there. Alright. Bam. Okay, first we'll notice uh, some more cardboard here. Alright, so far a pretty standard unboxing procedure here. Alright, put that off to the side. E for Ergotron, let us do the work, blah blah blah. Some instructions, okay. Heavy duty tilt. I do need heavy duty for this uh, 49 inch, so I am gonna need this heavy dutiness. And uh, bam, what you would expect. A bunch of plastics, hardware fasteners and such. All right, so let's throw this thing together. All right, we've reached the first hurdle of this installation on step one. Basically, the desk that I'm using is a DJ desk, so it's really wide. I'll give you the exact measurements, but um, I had to kind of jerry-rig this uh, mount here from the old mount, and uh, I'll show you how I did that. But if you're going to use this thing with a really wide desk, uh, it's not going to work, or you're going to have to kind of jerry-rig something. Um, Probably for most of you who are using a quote unquote normal desk, it's going to be fine, but just a little gotcha there. Currently, I'm using a $60 mount from Amazon, and it's doing a great job, but there are two reasons why I'm considering the upgrade to the Ergotron. The first reason is just the position of which this arm kind of sits the monitor. You can tell right here, this is the full width of the desk, and basically the monitor cuts the desk in half, and I'm basically losing all this space and the second reason is that this mount is doing a great job of keeping the monitor in place but of course you get what you pay for right you can't move this monitor it's it's here to stay and i've realized that for my workflow it's very handy to be able to move the monitor around which i can't do right now quick comparison here of how the new mount compares with the old mount uh 300 and something dollars versus 60 dollars you can tell profile view here that the 60 dollar mount does protrude out and the 300 and something dollar one is pretty much flush with the end of the desk here so i've got a tape measure here it's about six inches pretty excited now that the monitor is going to sit flush with the desk going to give me that extra room back here to work so all that's left is to put the monitor onto the thing now this is the moment of truth does it actually support the weight I think it does, but we'll have to find out. And first impression, it feels pretty sturdy, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, it does feel a whole lot like more space down here to work, so that is pretty exciting as well. Sweet! I love how when you leave it, it doesn't sag at all. It just stays. It's gonna work for my stand-up and sit-down combination, and this is pretty sturdy. I mean. So you would expect for $400. I'm not gonna have this issue anymore where when my laptop screen is open, I can't see behind it. If that happens, I can just lift this guy up. We're rocking and rolling. Truth be told, the monitor is still sitting at about halfway of the desk, so I'm gonna have to play around with that setting right there to move it a little bit back. Uh, but it, yeah, pretty cool that you know, this this is pretty solid now. And the only gotcha for me was this panel right here because I have this DJ desk that is uh, pretty wide. Uh, I did have to kind of jerry-rig makeshift this thing, which is not the most solid. I have to see if uh, I have a better solution for that. But that is the only question mark with this Ergotron is, uh, like, if I were to put it in this last slot right here, it wouldn't be wide enough for this specific desk.